right, for this workout, we will be doing five exercises for your warm up for one minute each and 50 seconds of work and 10 seconds of rest for two rounds for your workout. Let's begin. All right, let's do your right staggered good morning. Step your right foot forward, point your feet or your foot up, toes off, and just hinge from your hips and stand. We're just going to do this for one minute at your own pace, at your own time. Maybe set an intention for this quick workout and use that intention as your driving force for the next few minutes. This will be fast, fun, and effective. So again, we're hinging from our hips. My standing leg is bending a bit, but my right leg, which is my extended leg, is straight. So this is your right staggered good morning. And then we're going to do the same thing on the other side in a few seconds. Hinge from your hips, so hinge is creating a bend and angle with your body. Gaze is forward or gaze on the ground, up to you. Fingertips on the temple of your head, that's okay. Or you can just bring it on your hips. Okay, we switch sides. We're just stretching the hamstrings, lubricating and warming up, warming up the body. And switch. There you go. I prefer mine, my hands on my temple. So. It's up to you, but make sure that your knees are not pointing out, pointed forward, not out. So you have to be constantly aware, keeping your hips square. So how do you keep your hips square? I'd like to say that you're trying to keep your extending leg pushing back or pulling back and then your right leg or your standing leg pushing back so that it's square. Yes? All right, halfway. Then after this, we're gonna do your leg abduction to pulse. I will show you. It's a standing leg abduction to pulse for your right side first, then on the left. This is your warm up. 15 seconds. For easing our way in, we're gonna work the lower body a lot today. So it's gonna be fun. All right, in 10 seconds, we go straight to your leg abduction to pulse for your right side. Follow my lead in three, two, and one. So I'm gonna face you guys. Hip square, same thing. You just lift one leg, point or flex up to you, and then you pulse it up and down. So lift, pulse, and down. We're engaging the quads here as you feel it there. In your quads, your inner thighs, and outer thighs, which is, yeah, your quads. <laughs> All right. We're halfway, almost halfway. I, I'm bad at counting time, so just look at the timer. <laughs> All right, halfway. Or almost, now we're halfway. There you go. So try not to touch out or to touch in. Just keep your hips square. So if you can't lift it ever so up, that's okay. Just lift it at a certain extent where your form is intact, yeah? 15 seconds, we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. Point or flex up to you as long as you engage your quads. So if you're someone who's confused with this move, you just point your toes so that you can feel it in your quads too. But if you can, if you're not comfortable with pointing, that's okay too. Three, two, one. Let's switch sides. Shift your weight to the right. Lift your left leg up and pulse, okay? So it's a lift, a pulse, and down. You lift, you pulse a bit, and you go down. You keep your hips square, hips facing forward in this manner. Your chest is open, chin is away from the chest. Try not to tuck it in. And then shoulders is away from the ears. Just drop the shoulders. Just relax them. No stress. And then after this, we're just gonna do one exercise for your warm up, and then one more exercise for your warm up, and then we go straight to your workout. 50 seconds of work, 10 seconds of rest, five exercises, two rounds. 20 seconds. Ooh! So, because we're gonna work the lower body a lot, we wanna engage the right muscles in your warm up, yeah? 15 seconds, we have your alternating front kicks with arm pull down. So, follow my lead in 10 seconds. Kind of look dancey, but if you don't have that coordination, it's totally fine. Here we go. In three, two, one. First up, you're just gonna bring your hands up and just kick forward and pull down. Okay, I'm gonna put, face this side and just kick forward up and down. If this is too challenging, that's okay. You can just take it easy. Take a few steps before you kick. But if you can, just lift and pull down your arms. And breathe. That's it. Point your toes. It doesn't have to be all the way up. If you want, you can just lift it here. This is too challenging, that's okay. You can just do your knee lifts. That's okay too. So knee lifts or alternating front kicks. Point your toes, make it nice and steady. 20 seconds, and then we go straight to your first exercise for the workout, plie squat. Whew. 
chest up and breathe and down and kick okay in five four three two and one all right plie squats legs wider than the hips it's also called your narrow or your wide squats then just go down and up Whew! my heart is racing that definitely is a burner now for your plie squat you want to make sure that your knees and toes are pointing out and you're dropping your hips lower than the knees or above the knees up to you if you want to go deeper go ahead if you want to take it easy that's okay we're going to do this for a few more seconds and then we're going to take a 10 second rest now we're going to go straight to your alternating curtsy lunge my heart is racing here we go chin away from the chest chin up that's it nice and pretty and handsome <laughs> all right five four it's also called your wide squat if, if you're not familiar with dance terms and one ten seconds to breathe alternating curtsy lunge like a prince or a princess so you just go step back diagonal to the back and then just do the same thing on the other side let's go here we go so you can play around with your hands sometimes I like putting it on my hips sometimes I like clasping it together sometimes I like it just moving up and down just to work my coordination and to yeah keep on moving let's go all right a few more seconds and then we're halfway working the glute squats and hamstrings here so both sides this is a bilateral movement so it's two sides both sides are working are activated here we go a few more seconds chin away from um chest up there you go and chin is away from the chest avoid tucking your chin in this is really good for your posture if you do it properly all right five four three two and one 10 seconds to recover then we have your skaters so this is something that would really increase your heart rate in five seconds so basically you just go skate imagine you're skating here we go let's go that's it and after your skaters take a 10 second breather we do two more exercises one right one left a unilateral movement and then we do it one more time repetition sometimes leads to perfection yes practice makes perfect okay that's it you want to go faster if my pace is too slow that's okay go ahead you can go behind me or beyond me it's okay so it's really up to you at your own pace at your own time if you want to save your energy go ahead if you want to pour all your energy out that's good also so up to you 10 seconds that's it keep on moving four three two and one inner thigh leg lift we're gonna work the right side so bend your left foot in front of you extend your right fingertips supporting you in three two one just lift it up and down this looks easy but it's really challenging and it burns Whew. if you want to shake it off go ahead and just go back so again left foot bent right leg extended and just maybe lean to the right that's okay on your right forearm so that it's easier because if you want to challenge yourself you can also do this another option is to go all the way up and just pause it so it's really your preference 20 seconds all right I'm just gonna go down here because my shoulders are sensitive so if you have sensitive shoulders you can just go down here all right and then we do the same thing on the other side Whew. Take a breather in three, two, one. Okay, 10 seconds, change your set up. So this time, left leg extended, right leg is bent in front of your right foot, okay? And go. Point your toes, flex your foot, that's up to you. I like mine pointed because it engages my left leg, but it hurts. I'm sweating. So again, this is the last exercise for, your, exercise for your first round. We go back to your plie squats. Almost halfway. And then after your plie squats, curtsy lunge. And then your skaters and then your inner thigh leg lifts. Again. So we just do everything again. One more round and then we're done. Keep on going. Pulse it up and down. Lift it up and down. It's called your inner thigh leg lift five four three 
two, and one. All right, shake it off. Stand up, 10 seconds. We go straight to your plie squats or your wide squats. How are you feeling? I'm good. How are you feeling? Okay, let's go. Down. Sometimes I, I lose my words when I get tired, but that's okay. Again, it's not pain, it's discomfort, and that's okay because you get results after. Okay, so we are working your inner thighs here, and your outer thighs, your quads, your hamstrings, and your butt. There you go. One more round of this, then we're done. So at your own pace, at your own time, you can take it a step higher by speeding it up. You can go slow and controlled. You can follow my pace. It is your workout. Pace yourself. All right, 10 more seconds, and then we take a breather. Alternating curtsy lunge coming up. In three, two, and one. All right, shake it off. It's a lower body burn day to day. All right, alternating curtsy lunge in four, three, two, and one. So, not a skater. Gets confusing, I know. Just an alternating curtsy lunge. So, imagine you're a princess or a prince. Up to you. I don't know if you found it funny or corny. <laughs> All right. We're in the glutes, quads, and the hamstrings. Basically, your posterior region, your lower body extremity. <sighs> Almost halfway. How are you feeling? As you can see, there's barely no jumping. So, it's high intensity but low impact. Except for that one exercise, your skaters. <laughs> but you can take it easy too. It's really up to you. You can make it high impact, low impact, any. Your choice, your workout. Okay, a few more seconds left. We take a breather and then skaters and then inner thigh leg lift. Right and left. And go. Take a breather. Next up, skaters. So you can swing your arms in opposition if you want to find that rhythm and coordination in your body. Here we go. In one, let's go. But a while ago, if you notice, I wasn't swinging my arms in opposition. But this helps if you are someone who loses your coordination. So it helps you with your coordination, their agility. But like me, I just like dangling my hands at the sides of my body, and that's okay. You can slow it down, you can speed it up. Different strokes for different folks. More than halfway. Stay here. And then inner thigh leg lifts on your right and left side. And then we're done. Yes. So good. Five, four, three, two, and one. All right. Set yourself up for your right side. So right leg is extended, left leg is bent. My shoulders are sensitive in this side, so I'm gonna go down on my forearms, but you can stay up if you want to. Whew! My legs are burning. Stay here, so avoid sinking. So watch this, I'm sinking down. You wanna avoid that, no. You wanna lift your chest up, even in your inner thigh leg lift. So you really have to be conscious of your form, because form above everything else. You don't wanna get injured, you wanna have quality reps rather than quantity, yeah? Okay, that's a lot of talking. We're more than halfway, and we're gonna end it with one more inner thigh leg lift on your left side, and we're done for today. Okay, three. Okay, we have 10 more seconds. I'm bad with time. All right, stay here. Point your toes if you can. Three, two, and one. 10 seconds. Ow. How are you feeling? Let's do the same thing on the other side. Right leg is bent, left leg is extended. I'm gonna go down on my forearm. Three, two, one, go. Ha! Huh. And this is it. The last part of your workout. It's not as high intensity, but it works. So it's okay. So what does this work? Your inner thigh leg lift, basically your inner thigh, this part. And of course, if you engage your leg, your lifted leg, you're gonna work everything in your lower body too, in your left side, because I'm working my left side here. So it's working my quads, my hamstrings, even my calves, because I'm really pointing my toes and engaging them, and my inner thighs, my adductor muscles. Woo, I'm sweating, it's getting hot. All right, we have 10 more seconds, and then 10 seconds to recover, and then we're done. Stay with it, stay strong, avoid sinking, lift your chest up, in three, two, one, 
and we're done. 10 seconds to recover and you're officially done with your 15-minute workout. Don't forget to hydrate, towel off, stretch, and I'll see you soon.